Hundreds of foreign nationals, including those from the U.S. and U.K., have been evacuated in what has turned into a nine-day battle for control in Sudan. Injuries have been reported by those caught in the crossfire as armed forces scramble to bring them to safety, causing ire among Sudanese who say not enough is being done to keep them out of harm's way. Satluj TV brings you the latest. U.S. Special Forces have evacuated fewer than 100 people in the speedy operation that took just one hour on the ground. Canada had also extracted its diplomats, as well as Egypt, India, Nigeria and Libya, who are working to bring home their people. But there is an unconfirmed report that one French person was wounded as France's foreign ministry landed planes to remove hundreds who were part of a delegation in Khartoum. In separate incidents, an Iraqi citizen was killed during clashes, and Egypt said one of its diplomats had been wounded. The fighting broke out in Khartoum and other parts of the country on April 15. This comes four years after long-ruling autocrat Omar al-Bashir was toppled in a coup by the Sudanese army and paramilitary known as Rapid Support Forces, or RSF. But talks soured recently during negotiations to integrate the two groups to form a civilian government. The army's commander, Abdel Fattah al-Burhan, and RSF leader Mohamed Hamdan Dagalo have failed to observe ceasefires reached almost daily. Despite this weekend's evacuation, officials say that there could be an estimated 16,000 American citizens in Sudan, mostly of dual citizenship. No word yet on the fate of those who remain. Meanwhile, the U.S. government is working on helping to find a path to peace. At least 420 people have been killed and millions others trapped in Sudan without access to basic services. We'll keep an eye on this developing story and bring you the latest as soon as it becomes available. For more stories and breaking news, visit satlujnetwork.com. Reporting for Satluj TV, I'm Layla Gulen. Do you ever wonder what's behind the news? What is it that you are not being told? Going behind the news and finding the truth. Let the truth flow. Sat Rouge Network. Let the truth flow.